In this video, we're going to go through a third factor which affects acidity, and as we'll see, this will be polarizability. So the key question we want to answer in this video is how does the acidity of a species change as we go down the periodic table? So we're going to compare the stability of these anions as we go, let's pick the halides here. So let's take fluoride ion and then chloride and then bromide and then iodide. I want to ask, how does the stability change between each of these four anions? Which one's the most stable? Which one's the least stable? Now, in the last video, you saw that we correlated electronegativity to stability as we went across the periodic table. So we might think that fluoride being the most electronegative element would be the most stable of all of these anions because it would attract negative charge to itself. Actually, as it turns out, of all of these anions, we can measure the stability in, in the acid-base constants of each of these anions. And it turns out that the iodide ion is actually the most stable. And it's the fluoride, which is the least stable. Like I said, this might initially be a counterintuitive result. You might expect that the more electronegative element might be more stable, and just it's actually not the case. Well, why might this be? Well, let's look at one factor, which is the what we're going to call the ionic radius of each of these atoms, or these ions, because they're not just atoms, they're ions. So if you look at the fluoride ion, it has an ionic radius of about 119 picometers, and the ionic radius of the iodide ion is 206 picometers not ppm, <laughs> picometers, which means that the iodide ion, the radius is about twice as large or almost twice as large as that of fluoride ion. And in each case, we have a negative charge, except in the case with a fluoride ion, this fluoride ion, is the negative charge, the charge of minus one in each case, is spread out over a much, much, much smaller volume than the negative charge in the iodide ion. So, in this case, the charges, if you want to think of it as more concentrated. And in general, you might see this in organic chemistry quite a bit. You see this trend where the more, st the more concentrated or, or the more isolated or um, localized a negative charge is, the less stable it's going to be. So high charge densities tend to be unstable. And conversely, the more spread out a charge is, the more stable it is. So less concentrated, let's move that over a bit, rated, less concentrated negative charge. So we have a word for to describe this kind of concentration of charge or squishiness. So you might, we, we often refer to this as polarizability. Sorry. polarizability. And the polarizability of iodide ion is much, much greater than that of fluoride ion. And that is the reason why the I minus charge is so much more stable than the fluoride ion charge, because the charge is spread out over a greater volume. Okay, so what does this mean for acidity and basicity? Well, if we look at the conjugate acids of each of these, we have H plus and I minus, and then we might have H, H and Br, H plus and Br minus, and H and Cl, H plus, Cl minus, and H and F, so H plus and F minus. So, of all these anions, we said that I minus was the most stable and fluoride ions is the least stable. What that means for each of these reactions is we go from left to right. This is going to be the most favorable, this reaction of, of HI. So this is going to be the most favorable and we might change the size of the arrows as we go down. and. The reverse reaction is going to be increasingly 
more favorable. So what this means is that the HI is actually the most acidic because this reaction going to the right where it's going to donate a proton is the most favorable. And HF is the least acidic. So this is going to be the least favorable of all these reactions. I'm going to change this a little bit. It doesn't really re accurately reflect reality. So the most acidic species is HI and the least acidic species is HF. So the, the bottom line here is that acidity increases as you go down the periodic table, exclamation point. And this does not just apply to the halides. Uh, it would also apply to, for example, if you look at water, uh, what's the atom right below oxygen in the periodic table? Well, it's H2S. And right below sulfur is selenium, so it would be H2SE. So of all of these, which would be the most polarizable atom? Well, that would be selenium. So selenium would be the most acidic, and water would be the least acidic. And that also follows as well. So like I said, bottom line, acidity increases as you go down the, the periodic table, and this is because your atoms become more polarizable and better able to stabilize negative charge.